Hey everybody, this is section two of the gas laws and I'm going to start throwing a lot of laws at you now. And we're going to build these up into kind of a comprehensive law for gases. And so bear with me today, we're going to go through a few calculations, and but these are pretty simple. I think you'll be just fine. And I just realized how dark my face was, so I apologize for that. But um, so we're going to start with what the word empirical means. This is observable. So this is um, something based on data is the best way to say it, based on data. So again, we can't see individual gases, but we can collect data and we can build these relationships up. And we're going to start with this guy named Boyle. And he, his law says that gases uh, can be compressed to a certain degree. And you know that if you take an empty water bottle that's actually filled with gas and you try and squish it, you can do it much more than you can squeeze water. Um, and his relationship is between pressure and volume. And so the way we're going to use this is P1 V1 is going to be equal to P2 V2. So the initial pressure of a gas is relational to its volume. That relationship is the same for a different pressure and a different volume. It never changes. So how do we use that? And this is kind of going to be our model for the rest of this section. So a balloon at sea level, so this is pressure one, believe it or not, and it has a volume of 1.5 liters. So this is volume one. If the balloon's maximum volume is 2.5 liters, so this is volume two, what pressure so P2 is our question mark, will the balloon pop? So we can take this data and put it into Boyle's Law. So let's start with P1V1. So pressure one at sea level, remember from the last section, this is one atmosphere, so 1.0 atm, times the volume, 1.5 liters, is going to be equal to its second volume and its second pressure. So pressure two is our unknown, so this is going to be x, times 2.5, and this is just algebra, so if we solve for x, 1 times 1.5 gives us 1.5 equals 2.5x, and when we um, divide by 2.5, x equals 0 0.6 atmospheres. So if the pressure outside of that balloon drops to 0 0.6 atmospheres, the volume will get so large that the balloon will pop, and this is your answer here. 0 0.6 atmospheres. So very simple, the pressure volume relationship. Charles Law is the second one, and this is how temperature affects the volume of a container or of a gas because of the kinetic molecular theory. So that first four uh, ideas or assumptions that we looked at in the last section, and we can write this one as V1 over T1, so volume over temperature is going to be in a relationship with V2 over T2. And temperature, uh, this is something new, is always given in, this, uh, this unit is called Kelvin. And to find Kelvin, we do degrees Celsius plus 273. And this is really important. Um, so we're gonna, whenever we have a temperature in here, we need to convert it into Kelvin. And it's just simple addition. So example number two, the total oxygen volume in a container at one atmosphere, so we have a pressure here, is 21 degrees Celsius, so this is a temperature, and 785 liters, so we have a volume. What would the volume be, so we're asking about another volume, if the temperature were 28 degrees Celsius, so we have temperature two. So T1, V1, V2. We do not need pressure in this example, so we're gonna ignore that. So let's fill in our variables. Temperature one is 21, but we have to add that to 273, and our volume is 785, so we're just going to do 785 over 21 plus 273 is 294, so 294 equals, uh, what would the volume be? It's asking about volume 2, so this is going to be x over 28 plus 273. Uh, let me check my math here, this is 301. And to solve this one, we just cross multiply. So when you're multiplying, or when you're looking at a, an equation like this, we just multiply top times the across bottom, bottom times the across top. And that gives us the ratio of 294x, 294x equals, and then this large number, 236, 236, uh, 285. So 236,285, and then we divide both by 94, and we get x equals 
103 liters. Okay, so same idea. Uh, so notice here, as the temperature goes up, your volume also increases. So this is a direct relationship. Notice over here with the Boyle's Law, as the pressure goes down, the volume goes up. So let me actually add this to your notes. So as pressure goes down, volume goes up and vice versa. So if pressure goes up, volume goes down. This is an indirect relationship. So as one inc increases, the other decreases and vice versa. Down here with Charles Law, as temperature goes up, volume also goes up. So this is a direct relationship. And then finally, the third one is Gay-Lussac's law. And it says, as the pressure increases, gas particles, they collide more, or they interact more. And we see a higher temperature, a high temperature. And so again, as, as stuff starts to um, interact and collide more, we see the temperature reading go up. So we're going to be relating, uh, let me flip my paper here. We're going to be relating the pressure. So pressure one over temperature one is going to be equal to pressure two over temperature two. And again, we need to remember the temperature is in Kelvin. So we do C plus 273. Never forget to do that. And so as a cylinder of nitrogen gas has a pressure of 10 atmospheres, so this is pressure one at 20 degrees, so temperature one, what is the pressure? So pressure two, if the temperature increases to 50 degrees, so temperature two. So using P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. We'll fill in our data, so we have 10 atmospheres for pressure one, so we do 10 over temperature one, so 273 plus 20 gives us 293. That is going to be equal to, what is the pressure X over the new temperature? So 50 plus 273 gives us 323. Uh, cross multiply, so 3230, so 323 times 10 equals 293x and x equals when you divide both you get 11.0 atmospheres okay so and again that's what we would expect so as temperature goes up so t up pressure also goes up this is a direct relationship check out the ctqs over to the side and this one also i did another ted ed video and you can click on the little screenshot down here in the corner if you would like to see that explanation